Hello everybody. Uh, this is Muhammad. Uh, today I'm uh, recording what we have done so far about the uh, greenhouse. This is the uh, greenhouse here. Uh, it's. Uh, I just turned that fan off because of the recording. It makes a lot of noise. The, the uh, greenhouse. It's eight meters in width and about 35 34 meters in length what we have here i will record the inside and then we will go outside and uh, record the uh, the fish pond we have one two three four five five lines these four are 11 11 uh, grow bed and that one it's uh, I guess uh, 14 yeah 14 grow bed so uh, which makes it in total uh, 58 58 grow bed the water comes from the fish pond outside okay and there is a pump there 2 HP pump and it pumps the water and waters the uh, the uh, the grow beds here. I'm thinking about changing that, changing that uh, two HP to three maybe, three HP, so that we can have a, a higher pressure, which will uh, help us starting the uh, the siphon quickly. Uh, the IBC tanks, we got them. Uh, we bought them from a company in uh, in Dubai, and we just did, we just planted some seeds. Uh, we didn't have enough uh, gravel, so I ordered some, and it might come arrive. It either will arrive tonight or uh, maybe tomorrow morning. The uh, the pipes here are one inch. And this is three four, uh, and these beans we got them from outside, from the from the farm. Um, the the height, the height of uh, the gravel, it's about um, thirty centimeters, thirty or twenty five centimeters, thirty thirty centimeters, yeah. And the water reaches five to six centimeters below the gravel. If you see the level here of the water, so this gap here, it's about um, five centi, five centi. It's about this side. Yeah, five centimeters. Um, do we have some issues here with the with the with the? With the project yes the pressure of water it's not that much so the siphon takes a lot long time to start basically that's why i said a few minutes ago that we need, we might change that pump which uh, pumps the water from the fish pond to the uh, to the greenhouse i use these buckets and we cut them see the, down there we cut them so that the water could penetrate this will uh, save the siphon from uh, gravel closing out the uh, the, uh, the outlet we used here only U siphon honestly honestly I am just sick of the bell siphon because it I had so much issues with that side with that system you know it does not start and uh, if it starts never stops and and so many other reasons you can uh, google that up in the in the uh, in the internet so, as I said, all these grow beds in the record down, we installed, we installed a three inches pipe and it's slope. It goes all the way, let me, let me go down, it goes all the way down there and some of them, we connected them with the with the flexible pipe as you see here 
and there we try to support the the IBC tanks with uh, with blocks because of the weight each grow bed here after after putting the uh, the gravel uh, weight about 600 kg 500 600 kg which is just over too much okay so once the water come it goes all the way here here we have one two three four four accumulation tanks and they all connected together see that one the uh, the uh, connection pipe between the tanks okay and there is and there is one hp pump as the water reaches a certain level it starts pumping the water back to the fish pond this is how the system goes and in a few minutes i will go and uh, record the uh, the fish pond let me come here and give you a full shot of what we have that is Nicholas and he've done a great job honestly okay this is the system and I will go outside now and record the fish pond hello again we're outside now and I will record the uh, the fish pond here it's uh, it's about eight meters by nine meters by depth uh, can't remember exactly it was a few years back maybe 2.8 meters something like that 2.90 2.8 anyway that is the there's the connection here connection of the the dynamo that pumps the water to the greenhouse there this is the this is the connection of the pump and that is the return there it helps regulating the the water uh, the water going to the to the grow beds I will close it because we're having issues anyway with water pressure okay that is as I said this is the uh, the fish pond and let me take you there to the nursery pond where we have the small fish babies there is the pond where we have the small fish hey calm down I'm not gonna okay I can't see them I'm sure they're inside yeah uh, at the at the end I hope you have benefited from this video and if you like to visit us you can visit us on the address mentioned below if you are in UAE you are more than welcome to come and share experience and uh, check our work here at farmstay.ae again thank you all for passing by if you like this video please you know what you're supposed to do thanks again